Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my first and only Halloween tutorial. I really, really wanted to do more Halloween tutorials, but I have just been so busy with homework and school and just life in general. So I'm really sorry that I only have this Halloween tutorial for you guys, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is going to be a masquerade look. And I got inspired by this mask right here, and I actually got this almost two years ago when I was in Venice and I was there for my birthday while I was studying abroad. My roommate and I went to Venice for my birthday and both of us picked up these masks because they have stores there that just sell tons of these masks. They just have shops there that are just filled with these and I fell in love with this one so I had to get it. So this mask has a handle on it so you just hold it up to your face like this. Now they do have ones that have elastic bands that go around the back so you can just have it on your face all night long and you don't have to worry about holding it. But I like this option because sometimes I may want the mask on my face and then other times I may not want it on my face. So that's why I wanted the makeup to look good with the mask on and with the mask off. And if you guys stay tuned until the end of this video, I will go over my hair and outfit with you guys. And yeah, enough of me talking, let's go ahead and jump into everything. So this eye is finished so you guys can kind of see what we're going for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NARS eyeshadow primer and I'm going to put this on my lid. And this is just going to help keep the eyeshadows in place and make the colors more vibrant. And then whatever is left over on my finger, I'm just going to put it down here on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pots and Pans, and this is just a shimmery, silvery color. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. And this is just going to be a nice base for all of the other eyeshadows that we will be using. So just go ahead and take your finger and blend it all out. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and put it down here on my lower lash line as well. Okay, so for my first eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my Jessie's Girl Eye Dust in Starshine, and this is just a shimmery, sparkly white color. And I'm going to take my Sigma SS239 brush. I'm going to take this color and pack it on the inner corner of my eye. And then just bring it down. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow in Idolize, which is a shimmery silvery color, and I'm going to take this and place it on the center of my lid. And you want to blend it in with that white color. Okay, so still using that same brush, I'm going to take a Revlon Satin eyeshadow, and this is the color Platinum Glimmer. And I'm going to get this on my brush. This is kind of a silvery blue color, like a dark silvery blue color. It's really, really pretty. It actually matches my nail color almost exactly. So I'm going to take this on the brush and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. Alrighty, now I'm going to take a Sigma SS239 crease brush that looks like this and I'm going to be using that same platinum glimmer color. And I'm going to work this into the crease. So just gently bring it in and work it up a little bit. So now we are going to connect this line with our lower lash line here. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down. and then bring it all the way almost to the inner corner, but not quite. So now I'm going to take my NARS eyeshadow duo in Eurydice and I'm going to be using this shimmery black color and I'm still using the Sigma SS239. Going to get a little bit on there and then I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. I am going to bring some down onto my lower lash line, but I want to keep it more on the outer corner. You don't want to bring it in too far. 
So I'm going to take a Sigma SS224 brush and I'm going to blend this out. I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow in Floof and this is just a shimmery off-white color. I'm going to get it on the 224 brush and I'm going to put this on my brow bone and just kind of dust it all over. For eyeliner, I'm going to take my Rimmel Soft Coal Eyeliner in black and I am going to line the inner rims of my eyes. So I'm going to start up top first. And then I'm going to do my waterline. So I'm gently going to pull down my skin a little bit. I am just going to line my upper lash line. And this doesn't have to be perfect or anything. You just want a little bit of black on your upper lash line. And then just do the same thing on the lower lash line as well. Just so you have a little bit of a black color. Okay, so now for the fun part, the glitter eyeliner. And you can see on this side I have it finished, and I was just kind of going for a whimsical look, and I really don't know what I'm going to do on this side. I'm just going to kind of improvise as I go here. So the glitter eyeliner that I'm going to be using today is from Victoria's Secret, and it's one of their Beauty Rush Liquid Glitter Liners. So this is what it looks like, and this is the color Liquid Metal. So it's a really pretty shimmery gray color. Now first off, I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this color. And then I'm going to put some on my lower lash line as well. Okay, so now I'm going to start drawing in the lines, and like I said, I don't really have a set plan for this. This is just kind of whatever I come up with at this moment. So, I guess I will just start here. And I'm just starting off with guidelines first, just so I can kind of see where I'm going with everything. Okay, so now I have my guidelines in, so I'm just going to go ahead and start making it a little bit more detailed. And now when I'm doing these lines, I don't know how you guys would do it, but for some reason I have one of my old art teacher's voices in my head right now. I'm kind of drawing these lines like you would tree branches. So when you draw tree branches, you want them to be thicker towards the bottom and then you want them to gently thin out. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I feel like I'm drawing tree branches all over my face. Whimsical tree branches. Okay, so now I'm finished with the glitter eyeliner and I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm going to be using my Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara in Blackest Black. And I'm going to put a ton of mascara on my lashes. And then whatever is left over on the brush is just going to go on my lower lashes. Okay, so now for blush. Today I'm going to be using Benefit's Sugar Balm and my Sephora Professional Platinum Airbrush number 55. And I'm just going to smile and put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Not too much. You don't want too much color on your face, but you don't want to look dead either. Okay, so now for a highlight, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio and I'm going to take this shimmery light pink color and my Sigma SS224 brush. I'm going to get a little bit on there. And I'm just going to sweep this right here on my cheekbones and just kind of blend it in. And just kind of go over the eyeliner. It's not going to hurt the eyeliner at all. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and bring it straight down my nose. And then I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger and put it right here above my cupid's bow. Alrighty, so last but not least is lip color. And today I'm going to take my NARS lipstick in Roman Holiday, which looks like this, and I'm going to put this all over my lips.
So for lip gloss, I'm going to take my MAC Cream Machine Glass in Ever So Rich. And this was limited edition. It came out, I believe, last year around holiday time. But some good alternatives from the drugstore would be Revlon's Lip Gloss in Pink Whisper or Lilac Pastel. So these would be good alternatives if you don't have a color like this one. So I'm just going to take this and put this on my lips. Alrighty, so this is the finished look, and if you guys want to see how I curled my hair like this, I have a full tutorial on it, so that will be linked down below. And then, of course, I have my mask here, and then for my dress, I have on this dress from Windsor, and this is a dark, silvery, satin, gray dress, and I love it because it has this sequin detailing and this other detailing here at the bust. I love it. I think it goes so well with the makeup and everything. I'm sorry if it's a little bit shaky. So this is what the dress looks like and it has a bubble hem to it and then for shoes I just have on my gold Michael Kors heels. Okay so that is it for this look and I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial because I had so much fun making it and yeah I hope you all have a very safe and happy Halloween and I'll see you all later. Bye! Mm -hmm.